Peter's back. John is Yay! not. We've got Peter. <laughs> We've lost John. I know. Uh, which sucks because this is our last episode before New Year's. New Year's Eve is tomorrow. We're recording this on yeah. Thursday for Friday. It would be awesome to be able to do our end of year retrospective and and talk about how uh, our our predictions went, which would yes. have been a great transition into this story. <laughs> because <laughs> spoiler alert, Peter's transition uh, prediction was one hundred percent spot on. <laughs> totally nailed it. Yeah. I feel both vindicated and very sad <laughs> that I was right about, um, I think it was two out of three of my predictions, or maybe all of them. But um, brutal. pizza, please, is what I can say. You DJ, um, they weren't bet. A prediction is not a bet. <laughs> but we definitely said at some point that if my predictions came true, then you would owe me a pizza for each one. I'm sure I know I we went over that. You keep saying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make it true. <laughs> Wait, at any rate. That, I mean... So recap yeah. the prediction. This has been a huge story for a week or two, so people probably have heard the story. Start with the prediction. Or should we start with the prediction on today's not-so-critical update? Not-so-critical update. Oh, gotta go. Back. Play the music. Okay, now go. Right. My prediction was that there would be a major breach of uh, at least one of the big password managers. And Um, and here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Yeah, I figured it was about time. I think that was my justification for it. It was like, yeah, we've had breaches from everything else. So it seems like password managers are the next thing. Um, And last pass. Wow, this is just. This must have happened two weeks ago because I think we actually talked about this shortly after it happened, and and we talked about did this meet the criteria? Yeah, and I said that yeah, I wasn't well, convinced it was a big ago. breach because they just got user information. Turns out way worse than than uh, I thought at the time. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so the actual attack happened back in August, I think, um, some oh, some time ago, yeah. and then they just kept on finding out more and more uh, bad things about it. It was a string of attacks. They had stolen some credentials yeah. and then came back for more information and then came back for another breach and yeah. ended up exfiltrating a bunch yeah. of data, including... Yeah. And part of that data was the actual password vaults, which, uh, is, which is where our passwords are stored. Which is, and, uh, which is, ba- about, is about, about as bad, bad as, as it can get. get. Yeah. Um, Until you find out... No. <laughs> yes. It can actually get <laughs> <gets> worse. worse. <laughs> um, There's a couple of really bad aspects about this. Uh, So the key part is that um, passwords in the last pass vaults were encrypted with something called PBKDF2, which I did not just glance down at my monitor to remind me of that acronym, Um, which (laughs) absolutely not. Um, um, It's just a way of hardening um, encrypted passwords so that um, to be more resistant to, to, to hack cracking. And um, you can have a, a number of rounds that you do to make it more encrypted, more difficult to, to decrypt. And um, j- just to, to set the decrypt. stage here, Peter, the issue is researchers have proven, demonstrated that the breached vaults of LastPass passwords can be relatively easily decrypted. Yeah. <clears throat> well, some of them, um, especially the earlier ones. So, so you can, there's like industry standards of how many rounds you use. And it's like a hundred thousand or something like that is, is kind rounds of, of encryption number of rounds. Yeah. Oh no. It's the rounds of, of PBKTF2, which is the, uh, the thing that's done basically. I'm not super, um, I'm not an expert in this particular area, but I kind of understand the gist of things. So forgive me if I'm, you know, um, fuzzing this a little bit but yeah basically you you do a certain number of rounds and it makes it more uh difficult to crack the, the encrypted version of the password if you don't know the the secret um <clears throat> so the industry standards should be around a hundred thousand and uh currently the last pass used a hundred thousand and one hundred i don't know why they add that extra hundred on the end um but they didn't used to 
And uh, for very old customers, they only use uh, a single round. And um, for then they changed it to use 5,000 rounds. And then, you know, over time, they kind of increased the number of rounds. And so, but the thing is, they never, when they increase the number of rounds they use, they never reset people's passwords. They never re-encrypted them. Hmm. So, um, yeah. And there's been, I, I read a few threads where one guy checked it and he, he was like, oh, could, there's somewhere you can go in the settings and see where what, what the number of rounds is. And it was he was like, oh, it's just one round. And that's almost trivial to decrypt. Um, so, yeah, it was, um, it, it it's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. So for a certain number of people, especially if you're an older customer, then your passwords are basically vulnerable to um, being, well, and if you're an old customer, you've probably got hundreds of passwords in there as well. Like I, I think I, I have like 600 passwords in one password manager I have. Um, it's crazy. The other thing that got me about this, sorry, Mike, go on. I was just going to add, I uh, previously on the show had joked that I use LastPass for my password, all lowercase one word. <laughs> and it turns out that really would be just about as secure as using the tool itself. So yeah, I guess I was ahead of the time, ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh man, the other thing that got me was that the um, the URLs are not encrypted, so the the, the metadata associated with nope. where it prompts you've. Put to put in that password. That's not encrypted. I really, really want to see someone do some analysis on this and like um, see how many sensitive URLs there are in in that uh, that data. I, I'd kind of like to see it myself. Actually. So if I work um, at the NSA and I save my intranet password in LastPass, that URL is exposed. Uh, yes, exactly. Or if I <laughs> yeah. store my porn site passwords in LastPass. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or if mm -hmm. um, if you're um, you know even more actual sensitive things like if you had an abortion site in there that was saved or if you uh, are in another country and you've got some um, I don't know uh, political sites in there or something like that for Chinese citizens I imagine there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be revealed about them um, <clears throat> the fact that you have a login to somewhere is is in on it by itself um, sensitive information and it's unencrypted which is crazy to me like i i don't know how they could in their minds could say that that's a good idea <laughs> yeah does knowing so like if a lot of people a lot of sites will use your email address as your login id does knowing that the email address could be in the encrypted string make yeah. it easier to decrypt i uh, yeah i think so um i mean it will help you it's just another data point right so uh, a lot of um, password crackers, you can seed it with information about the uh, the person or the, the password you're trying to crack, like, you know, main name, date of birth, that kind of thing. And it will use those in variations to try and make it, you know, they'll try in different uh, uppercase, lowercase, um, use it as numericals and whatever. Um, so, yeah, it would help for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. it's it. What blows my mind about this is that LastPass, these are the people who should be the most paranoid about getting hacked and put every single um, you know uh, measure in place to prevent this kind of thing being a problem. Like this is and like they did. your whole thing. Yeah, just <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, I I don't, it's it's unacceptable, really. Yeah. So, so I, <laughs> right. I just keep a text document in Google uh, Drive. Is that? <laughs> I mean, that's as good an alternative now as LastPass, right? Honestly, it kind of is. Um, if if your Google account is protected, uh, then yeah, <laughs> you know why not? I mean, so now at this point, LastPass is still a company. Do they survive this, or this is the end? Yeah, of course. I think they'll survive it. I mean, oh, you do. They're too embedded. They're too embedded. That I don't know. If one of the stories was about how they um, presented uh, their. They disclosed this information, and someone did a sort of line by line analysis of of the press release. And it was they used all the tricks in the book to kind of um, make sure that people didn't pay attention. They released it on a Friday just before the holidays, and they didn't. Uh, they only kind of uh, uh, alluded to the fact that it was related to the previous incident, and they kind of, yeah, it was it wasn't quite lies, but it's just you know 
marketing bullshit. So if you use LastPass, if you're if you're with a company that uses LastPass and you can't change to something else, like I I, I used to use RoboForm, I actually moved to Bitwarden on John's recommendation and have been super happy with it. It works really well. It doesn't have some of the browser integration that RoboForm and and LastPass do, um, but been very happy with it. Good good feature parity with with RoboForm for the most part. But you're with a company, you use LastPass, you have sharing with other team members, whatever. You can't get off of it. What should you be doing? Um, be careful about which sites you record passwords for. Uh, don't trust LastPass anymore, basically. I think that um, even though you might assume that, oh, they've made a mistake and they have, uh, they're going to rectify their ways, I think it's something like this shows uh, an endemic, uh, systemic, let's say, um, lack of, of care about what they should be doing. It's not like they didn't know they should be doing this. They just haven't. It was difficult and awkward, and they didn't go about it the right way. Do you know? So I wouldn't trust them again. If I, well, but, you know, like you said, if you're a company, you might not be able to get off of it because you're pretty deeply integrated. Um, but as a user at one of those companies, if I change my master password, for example, will that force everything to be re-encrypted? Uh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I think it might do. I, so I don't know exactly how to get to that setting that tells you how many rounds of PPKDF2 are being used. Um, Again, didn't look at the but, computer. It's fine. Did not look at the... I, I know this kind of shit off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but if, it, if you can go in there and actually change that value, then it will force you to... Uh, it will re-encrypt things. So do that. So I don't know if do you that, can or not. change your master password. I mean, at this yeah. point, you probably should go through and change every password that's stored in LastPass. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's crazy, but I don't know what else you could do, really. Um, <clears throat> don't use the same password. Use the password generator to make sure they're unique passwords. Hopefully you've been doing yeah. that all along. Is that it? But if they can decrypt your if they can decrypt your vault, then they'll get all those anyway. So Yep. Yeah, that's a pro it's oh man, this is bad. This is really it is bad. So bad. So bad. And this is the these are the people that you you know, in any uh situation where you're using a piece of security software, there's a there's a, a critical point at which you just have to either trust or, or you know, you have to trust it. And last pass are it. <laughs> um and, and yeah, dropped kind of the ball. At a hundred percent. All right. Well, uh, have a happy new year, everyone. <laughs> yeah. L like and uh, subscribe and all that. Um, <laughs> come on the come on Discord and, and uh, take the piss out of Mike and his terrible Ooh. use of emojis. <laughs> <laughs> now I just do it because it's funny to mock John. So. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, I did. I I watched the episodes while we were. I did enjoy that one. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was fun. Uh, all right. Happy New Year, everyone. We will see you uh, next week, next year. It'll be Peter and I back again on Monday.